The Ming Dynasty. After a long campaign, the Mongols were driven out of China. There then followed 150 years of peace and prosperity under the Ming Dynasty. Kublai Khan was a great Chinese emperor, but he was a foreigner. When he died in 1294, he was followed by a series of feeble Yuan emperors, famines, and much har hardship. The last Yuan emperor, Sun Di, was a bad ruler. The Chinese people were tired of being harshly ruled by foreigners. They found a Chinese ruler in Zhu Yan Zhang, who had been a monk and during bad times a beggar. A rebel bandit chief, he had a ready-made army. He also proved to be an excellent general. After a 13-year campaign, he captured Beijing, drove the Mongols back to Mongolia, and became emperor in 1368. He founded the Ming Dynasty, which translates to the Bright Dynasty, and took the name Hongwu, very warlike. He moved to the capital south and fortified the city of Nanjing. Hongwu ruled China for 30 years as a dictator, guarding against Mongol incursions and restoring order and prosperity to his country. Hongwu left the throne to a grandson, Zhang Wen, uh, born Zhu Yunwen, and he was overthrown four years later by his uncle, Du Di, who became Emperor Yongle, or Yongli, in 1403. Peace under the Ming. China grew great again under Yongle, Yongle, who was emperor from 1403 to 1424. Roads, towns, and canals were built, and when he moved to Beijing, he helped built great halls, palaces, temples, and then uh, the Forbidden City. Learning and arts flourished. Trades and industry were encouraged, and unusually, China looked outward, exporting goods and spreading Chinese influence abroad. The Muslim Admiral Qing He was sent on a long voyage to India, the Middle East, and Africa. After Yongle's reign, however, China lost interest in other countries. Many Chinese settled in Southeast Asia and became involved with growing China trade. Government administration was improved, and apart from the problems with piracy and Mongol attacks, flourished for a century. From 1517 onward, the Portuguese and the Europeans arrived on the coast, trading mainly with Guangzhou, uh, Canton, in the late 1500s. There were a series of emperors who were disliked and wasteful, and there were attacks on the borders. Trade declined, corruption and banditry grew, and there was famine and rebellion. In 1592, the Japanese invaded neighboring Korea, thereby threatening the security of China. Rebels eventually took over much of China, and in 1644, the Ming Dynasty finally fell.